I've never seen this many turtles before. This is the most insane I've ever seen it. It's breathtaking. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit emotional and I hold it in. And you can't see it in the GoPro, but from here all the way down the beach, there's hundreds and hundreds of turtles, females that are up on the shore resting, and I guarantee you there'll be thousands of males in the water. I'm gonna pull up here, I'm gonna get the drone up in the air, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. It is one of the most amazing experiences I've ever seen, and I'm not even down there yet. We're surrounded by turtles right now. Just, they're everywhere. They're just coming in, they're, they're so, they're not, oh my God, I can't talk. They're not shy at all because it's just, it's on right now. They don't care about the boat, they don't care about us. They just, they're here to do a job. And uh, all these males are super, super edgy because all the females are on the shore. I guarantee you if I got in there, it'd be on, which I'm gonna do later on. <laughs> Woo! All right, let me get the drone up in the air, chuck the anchor down. This is, this is what I love to do, man. This is the best ever. Wow. There is just turtles everywhere. Mating season is full swing. Oh, they're ganging up on the poor female. Whoa. That's just crazy. Oh, they do not care. This turtle's swimming to the boat. Oh, wow. This is insane. I'm gonna get in there, make sure I keep my distance. I'll try to get some footage for you guys of how gnarly it is in the water. Trying to get in there. Ooh, let's do this. Wow, man, that was incredible. Couple of big males. You see that big one turn and come straight at me and stare right at me. This time of year is quite dangerous in the water, believe it or not, even for turtles, because they get so worked up, they get a bit confused. Oh, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd see this many turtles. I'm freaking out. Stay there, Strata Moss, you guard the ship, all right? Don't let any of those turtles on. <laughs> Me and Victoria, we're just swimming to the beach here. I'm leaving Strata in the boat because there's just too many turtles and she doesn't do anything, but I don't want to just be responsible for anything like that. So what we're doing is we're going to stick above the tide line here, up there, to make sure. My biggest concern is not disturbing the females. I don't want to disturb them in any way, so we're going to push up high, go around them. I'm going to hop in the water with all the males, keep my distance, and I'm just going to see what happens. Hopefully nothing bad happens. They should keep their distance from me. They might be a bit inquisitive and come up for a sniff or a look. I've never been in the water with this many crazed turtles. So a few experiences I've had have been quite interesting. So we'll see what happens. These right here, for those of you that don't know, this is a, this is a female turtle that's come up to lay her eggs. These are turtle tracks. She comes up, lays her eggs. The temperature actually determines whether the nest is male or female. The whole nest. So this right here is a nesting site where females come up, laid her eggs, and away she went back down that way. Normally during the night, but sometimes during the day. So we want to push up here. We're going to stay up, up way past these females resting, 
they won't even notice what we're doing. Look at them. Just resting down there. This right here is the remains of a turtle that didn't quite make back down. There's a few reasons it could have got washed up on its back. It's made up here and just got exhausted after laying. But there's so many turtle remains along this coast from those reasons. But that's just nature, I guess. What is it, Vicky? Mm -hmm. Heaps of flies. Yes. <laughs> wow, it's disgusting. Look there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> heaps of turtles, heaps of flies. These girls are that exhausted that they actually look dead, but they're just resting. Poor girls. It's very important if anyone else comes across any resting turtles or anything like that, do not disturb them. It's the most important thing. It can be, it can be really, really hard not to go all the way up to them and interact with them, but you mustn't because think about it. If you spook them back in the water, and then the process happens again and they're not ready for it. You might eventually kill that turtle, so. This kind of looks like a, what is this? Oh no. Didn't quite make it. Rest in peace, mate. Oh, wow. This is amazing, guys. Look at it. Hundreds and hundreds of turtles, mostly female, resting up against the beach here. This is one of the most beautiful things that you ever see in your life. We mustn't interact with them. The most important thing is not disturbing these females or these turtles and let them do what they do. I know, oh man, trust me, even me, I want to get down there and meet them all. I want to go right up to them, but you can't. They're resting. It's honestly amazing, man. Oh shit. Speechless. Absolutely speechless. <laughs> it's crazy to think that this place here is not a sanctuary zone. It's not fully protected. At least this time of year, I think that this place here should be a sanctuary zone. No boats are allowed to pull up all the way into this cove here. And no one's allowed to get any closer to this beach than up here or anything like that. I really believe that it should be because imagine if you took your boat tearing through here and you didn't know or you come up here and you disturbed them all. There's way too much going on for this time of year for this beautiful cove here to be disturbed. Just gonna chill up here, watch these guys for a bit, then head back to the boat and continue on with the day. <coughs> <laughs> Just swallowed a fry. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Did you see it go in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, it's beautiful and peaceful up here before I choked on a fly because there's millions of flies. Uh, I'm just moving down the beach a little bit from all these guys just there. And hundreds and hundreds of turtles up. There's a bit of a gap here. So I'm not going to disturb any of them. I'm going to swim out and uh, see if I can film some male turtles. See what happens. I'm not sure what's going to happen to tell you the truth. I wonder if they're going to like me. Mm. The most what important thing I'm going to try and do is I'm not going to try and swim up to any of them. I'm not going to try and disturb them. If they come up to me, I'll move away from them. I, don't, I want to keep a distance. I don't want to go right up to them. Ooh. How's this one creeping up to me already? Look. Look at this one. Already thinks I'm a female turtle. Look. Yeah? Look, he's coming right at us. See him? Look. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He, just, he might come right up to us. He likes me. <laughs> Boy, he, he likes me. He <laughs> swim straight up to me. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. He'll come back around. Look, 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 look. The one that he's doing. 
It's just, behind it's you. Right there. Don't come any deeper. Oh, I'm about to get mounted. <laughs> oh, I blew bubbles. I accidentally bubbled. Oh my god, it's already happened. I haven't even swam. I haven't even left the shore yet. <laughs> it's behind you. Is he behind me? <laughs> yeah. But, man. Man, that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. <sighs> They're all still chilling. The tide has actually gone out heaps since we've been here, and it's actually pushed a lot of the turtles out a bit deeper. So I might return in the next couple of days if the weather lets me on a high tide and just see if I can get some more footage and see what else is happening. But for now, we're gonna head back to the boat, catch up with poor Strider, she's been in the boat. <laughs> Have a great afternoon. Oh, almost back at the boat. There's dry as little ears, you can't see him. Hello, Strider! Watch all the flies come off my back when I go in the water. Ready? <laughs> you see, look at them all. They're all coming. In. Oh, they're all, they're attacking me. <sighs> oh, not anymore. But there she is, the sea strider. In all her glory. My baby. Hello, strider. Hello, Eddie. Hello, hello, strider. <laughs> Sorry we left you. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, it's absolutely brutal in there. Five turtles. How's these clouds coming over? Covering the sky completely. There's a wind that's pushing over around the corner now. It's gonna get really strong. So I think that's it for another episode, guys. We're gonna start steaming back towards home. Thank you so much for watching. Just pretty much hung out with turtles all day. It was one of the best days I've had in a long time. Absolutely love it out here. It's such a special place. Make sure you guys are respecting the turtles. You're not interfering. Let them do their thing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. That's a wrap, baby. Oh man, it's getting brutal. Oh. Righto, see you guys. Be so nice. Woo. Let's get straighter. Come on, Vicky. <laughs> well, we just shot down to the beach because I think the sunset is going to be out of control. Haven't had a really, really, really nice sunset in ages, so it's lining up to be a beauty. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.